Hello class, welcome once again to our session for today. So we'll continue our discussion on the examples of Newton's second law of motion. So this time we will solve the third example. So here we have the problem. The two blocks shown starts from rest. The horizontal plane and the pulley are frictionless. And the pulley is assumed to be of negligible mass. Determine the acceleration of each block and the tension in the cord. So we have here the illustration class. We have two blocks here. Uh, block A uh, with a mass of 100 kilograms and also uh, for block B with a mass of 300 kilograms. So block A is 100 kilograms, block B is 300 kilograms. Okay, so uh, the pulley here is assumed to be frictionless. So there is no resisting force. Uh, in the pulley okay all right so here's the solution so first uh, we need to write the, kinet the kinematic relationships for the dependent motions and accelerations of the blacks and then we write the equations of motion for the blacks and pulley and then combine the kinematic relationships with the equations of motion to solve for the acceleration and cord tension so these are the things that we need to do class okay so here's the illustration once again so for this um, black uh, for this black and this black so we have this relationship we have if you look at this so we have one pulley here uh, holding this black and for this one we have sorry we have this cord we have only one cord here that is supporting this black and we have here two cords supporting for this black okay so we can uh, relate this you know, into this uh, relationship for b so for black b so this is just one half of x a you know, in terms of this all right so and we know that the the force you know, the force that is uh uh, pulling this this is only one and then we have two cords here that uh, that is holding this black so therefore the, the force uh, in B is just uh, one half no? because uh, there are two cords uh, supporting this but here is only one so we can relate them into this equation and we know that the the acceleration is proportional to the resultant force. Okay, if this is now the relationship between these two blacks uh, with their cords, you know, the force is uh, on this cord, the resultant force is on this cord. So we can also say that the, the acceleration of block B is also one half of the acceleration of A. All right, so we will be using this relationship later on in our uh, next steps in the process of solving this problem okay now uh, this is the uh, result class when you re resolve uh, forces now when you translate those forces into this uh, new illustration so for black a so we have the the weight uh, the weight here so if there is a weight out of this 100 gram or kilogram mass of uh, this black so there would be a corresponding normal uh, force that will react to that weight okay to that uh, force on the, on the plane where the black is uh, resting all right and since there is a cord here so it means that there is a tension no? there's a tension all right so the, the force is acting on this black is the tension due to this cord no? due to the weight of this uh, black and also the weight of this black black a and the normal force okay so using the newton's second law of motion concept so this can be equated to this so take note that from uh, the basic concept uh, we have the force you know, from the formula or from the equation we have the force is equal to the uh, product of the product of the mass and the acceleration okay 
So this one would be equated into something like this. Mass of the black uh, times the acceleration. So we're talking of black A. So our subscript here are A. So mass of A and black of A. Alright, so the mass here is 100 kilograms. Okay, so multiply this with the uh, acceleration. So mass of A, which is 100 kilograms, um, times the acceleration of A. Okay, so we are, uh, this is the result when we are summing up forces along the horizontal. Okay, this is the horizontal. So X here stands for horizontal, horizontal forces. So what are the forces along the horizontal? So we have this uh, T1, okay, tension 1, tension of the squared. Okay, so we have here T1, the tension of the squared. Okay, uh, equal to, so the product. Okay, the product of mass, which is 100 uh, kilograms, multiplied by uh, acceleration of the black A. Alright, so that is for our T1. So we have equation 41. Now when we sum up for sum of forces uh, on the vertical, so we have here the weight and also the normal. Okay, and what else? Uh, we have this one. Now we are considering now the uh, black, sorry, we are considering black B now, this time, for this part, black B. So for black B, so we are considering this uh, mass of this black, okay, and then we have the, when I mean, you translate this one, now we have the tension 2, so this, this is tension 2, so this part here, there's a tension, we call it T2, or T2. Okay, so T2. So T2, um, uh, the, the weight is going down. Okay, so the weight is going down. We have a black, uh, black which is 300 kilograms. So the black 300 kilograms. Okay, 300 kg. So the weight is uh, going down. Okay, so normally, uh, the tension would be going up. So that would be the tension T2. Alright, so we have here T2 going up, then the weight is going down. Alright, uh, by the way class, uh, we translate here, we have 2,940 Newton for black B, so we, we translate this into uh, weight in, instead of mass. Okay, but uh, well, uh, in our calculation, we are... Uh, we use the kilograms here because mass times the acceleration. Alright, so this is equal to, uh, we have the black of, the weight of the black B, that is 300 kilograms, and then we have here the mass, no? mass of the black multiplied by the acceleration of black B. Alright, so uh, this one, we equate this into, so that we can use this concept, the uh, second law of motion of Newton. Okay, so from here, so we can say, the mass of the black B multiplied by the uh, gravitational acceleration. So since we are using here kilograms, so our, our, our gravitational acceleration would be in meters per second. Alright, so in other words, our force here, force here is in terms of newtons. So this one, uh, if we use the convention force going down positive, or force going down, uh, going up, negative, or vice versa, that would be all right, class. So in this case, the assumption here is that we we use the force going down as positive. So that's why we have here uh, mass. But if you assume that this is negative, uh, that would be all right. You will obtain the same result. Okay, so mass of the black B, of this black, uh, multiplied by the gravitational acceleration. So we have... Here, the 300 kilograms, that is the mass of this black, multiplied by gravitational acceleration of 9.81 meter per second squared, minus T2. Okay, so T2 and uh, uh, acceleration and the product of mass and acceleration are in opposite directions, so that's why this is negative. Uh, take note that this can be positive and this is negative, and also this negative, so that would be, uh, you will obtain the same result. Right, so here we can solve for 
T2, right? So transpose T2, transpose 300, and then you'll get T2, which is equal to the 2940 Newton minus 300 kilograms uh, times acceleration of black B. Okay? So here we, we change, uh, we trans, we we change this into uh, Newton. Uh, there's a relationship that weight uh, or mass equal to weight times the acceleration. All right. So solving for weight, so you cross multiply. So you have uh, mass times the gravitational acceleration. Okay, so mass times, so that's why we have here mass times the acceleration that will give us the force or the weight, but it, this, this is in terms of Newton. So we have here in terms of Newton, this is in terms of Newton, all right, so the result now is T2, that is we have in terms of Newton, all right, minus, so this one, since we don't know uh, acceleration of B, Yet, so we have to uh, take it is take it as is, huh? and then we'll use this equation later on when we get some information. When we get uh, acceleration of b, so we substitute into this equation, then we can solve for t two. Okay. So next, uh, uh, we have if you look at this uh, pulley here, so the tension here is uh, t one, and we have. Uh, uh, this tension here is the same as this one here. So that's why we have T1 and T1. Okay, so if this is T2, if this is T2 here, uh, the tension of this cord at this point, this is T1. Okay, this is also T1. Alright, so that's why in our relationship a while ago, we have uh, uh, YB equal to one half of x b. So remember in our in our uh, first few sl first slide, so we have y sub b is equal to uh, one half one half x sub a. So right, so you can see it here from this illustration from this. Alright, so from here, we can uh, sum up forces uh, along the uh, vertical or forces uh, in vertical direction. So we use this uh, illustration here. So we have uh, this one is equal to the product no? we have uh, at this point here, so in the pulley, which is uh, designated as C. So we have mass at this uh point C multiplied by the acceleration at point C equal to zero. So from here, uh, we can say that uh, because uh, we have T1, no? T1, uh, and if you assume T1 going up as negative, that's okay. If you assume T2 uh, going down positive, that's alright. Or vice versa. You can also use this T1 going up as positive, then T2 going down negative. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, so from this uh, illustrations, so when you sum up, no, assuming that uh, going down is positive, so force going down or tension going down is uh, T2, we consider as uh, positive, so we have T2, then minus, we have T1, okay, so there's a T1 going up, then... Uh, we have T2, uh, sorry, T1, uh, another T1 also going going up. Okay, so what is also minus uh, T1 and then equal to 0. Okay, so combining T1. So we're referring to this uh, illustration class here. Okay, so we come up with this equation. 
So T2, therefore, uh, so T1 minus T1 minus T1, so that is 2T1, right? Then equate to 0. Or simply uh, T2. So when you transpose this uh, 2T1 on the right side, so that would be equal to 2T1. Okay, so this is uh, one of the reasons plus why we have that in our uh, slide earlier. Alright, so we have here T2 minus 2T1 is equal to 0. That is coming from this uh, illustration. So from here, so we can say that uh, T2, uh, we have solved this uh, already no, in a previous slide. So we got T2 equal to this one, right? Then minus 2T1. So we also have uh, value for T1 in our previous slides equal to 0. Then combining. So now if you see the the acceleration here in terms of A. So from here we can solve for A. So applying our algebra. So we can solve for A here. Now, uh, combine this. Okay, so 2 times 100 is 200. Then we have uh, 150. So 150 plus 200 kg, so that is uh, factor out a, a, a sub a here, acceleration of a, and then uh, you transpose this other side and retain it on the other side. You divide both sides by uh, this would be 350. So this one divided by 350, you will get this a sub a, meaning acceleration of the black a equal to 840 meter per second and after that uh, you have the value of a already then you can solve for the other values like this one here so you solve a sub a so substitute here so we'll get t1 okay then after you get t1 uh, so you have a of a you have t1 and you can use the other equation to solve for a sub b Okay, so T1 equal to this one. Okay, so you have A sub A. Substitute it here. So you get this. Then you have T2 equal to 2T1 equal to. So you just uh, multiply this one. So you get this. Alright, so I hope it's clear to you, class. So you just uh, practice. And hope you will make it. So be ready for your activity number number i think this is number six or number five okay uh so to be ready for the next uh, grid activities you need to practice you need practice there are a lot of exercises here uh just practice them and there are some exercises that uh, have been solved already and you can see the solutions so practice them so that uh, in your next grid activities and also in your coming uh, quiz number three that uh, that's for final uh, you'll be able to solve them and get a higher grade okay so thank you very much and hope to uh, see you in our next video for the next topic okay so bye for now and good luck to your next graded activities so bye